Hey everybody, I'm Matt Murray from Isotope, and I'm here today at Reverb.com showing off Neutron, our newest mixing toolbox. So uh, when you first look at Neutron, you notice we have a lot of different modules here, and basically any tool that you'd ever need to mix. It's got EQ, compression, uh, transient shaper, and also a harmonic exciter if you need to add any extra saturation, any tracks that might sound a little bit dull. There's also some really cool tools in here that can help you get to a final polish mix a lot faster or a lot easier. So that's what I want to show you today. So I have Neutron set up right here on my kick track. Um, and the first thing I want to pull up are my presets. Neutron comes with over 500 presets. And they're all arranged by different instruments. So it's really easy to come in here and find that um, sound that you want and then sort of work backwards and uh, reverse engineer that preset to see what, what's going on. So I have it here on my kick. So I'm just going to go ahead, play a little loop of my chorus and my tune, uh, and just click through a few of those presets to see how they sound see if something pops out that I really like. Once I find something I like, I can go ahead and start working with that, go to the next track, or maybe dig in a little deeper just to refine that preset. Something else that Neutron has that really sets it apart from any other channel strips out there is our track assistant. So when you run this on your track, what it's actually going to do is analyze the incoming audio, figure out if it's a drum or a bass or a guitar or vocals, and automatically start to set up this whole channel strip for you. So it's going to set up your EQ, it's going to place EQ nodes, it'll also set up your compression by setting attack and release times based on the instrument it can detect, uh, and set your threshold as well. So if you need a little help getting going, this can be really useful, but also if you're a pro mixer, this can help you get going a lot faster. It's going to set up a lot of things for you and save you time, so you can really dive in and make the more detailed adjustments you might want to make. So again, I have this on my kick track. I go to Track Assistant up here, and I have a few different modes um, based on the kind of sound I want to get. So with my kick here in this track, I probably want it a little bit more warm and open, and we'll do a medium amount of processing to this. So I'm going to go ahead and play it and click Track Assistant. Uh, and Neutron will go ahead and give me a starting point automatically, a totally custom preset. It takes between four and ten seconds for this to happen as it analyzes the audio. So that, that's done. You can see I have an EQ already set. It's giving me a little bit of a low end boost for my kick drum here. I can also see down in the bottom corner that it's realized it's drums, so I know that it's detected it correctly. Looks like there's also an EQ that got notched out here. It's looking for certain resonances in the sound. If I, sample, if I solo my kick track here, we can hear a little bit more of exactly what's going on. So it detected this sort of resonance here, around 200K, where there's some muddiness in the kick drum. It was able to pull that out automatically. And it's actually made that node dynamic. So instead of always cutting that frequency out, it's only going to cut that frequency when it goes over a certain threshold. Also gives me a little bit boost on the high end, just to give me a little bit more click and sort of presence to bring that drum out, uh, that kick drum out a little bit. It's giving me some harmonic excitement. You can see we got a little bit of um, warm style saturation, which is an old school kind of console sound. And then it's set up this in multiband so that the higher frequencies are getting a different kind of processing. In this case, they're getting a little bit of tape distortion, which has a really nice, gentle, high frequency response, which makes it great for drums. It's also set up my compressor settings here. So you can see, again, it's decided to do this in a multiband mode, where um, with the lower frequencies, I'm compressing a little bit harder. Uh, and then with the higher frequencies, um, it's even actually squashing those even more to really bring out some of that click and some of that attack in my drum to really make sure it comes out in my mix. Something else that the track assistant can do is it actually sets up my neutrino mode for me as well. And what this will do will detect what kind of instrument it is and then apply spectral shaping. If you want to know what that is, look it up. It's going to take another video to explain that. But what neutrino is is a certain technology that we made and it's actually available as a free plugin. Basically, you put it across all your tracks and it's just going to carve out a little bit of space and give them all a little bit of sonic lift and a little bit of polish. It's kind of like that last 5% of your mix. So you can check out Neutrino also for free on Reverb Sync. Another great feature of Neutron, uh, and this is something that's super helpful, is the masking meter. So there's a lot of times when you're going to be mixing uh, and you have two tracks that are clashing with each other. A pretty common example would be your bass guitar and your kick track. 
So you know, they're going to be in a lot of the same frequencies down on the lower end of the spectrum, and they're usually fighting for space. Have you ever been there where you turn up the bass and the kick goes away, so you turn up the kick, now the bass is gone, and you're fighting that war until you're basically clipping your whole session. So we've made this masking meter, which is super helpful. And the way it works is I go to my EQ here, I turn on my masking meter, and in my dropdown, I have any other track that I have Neutron instantiated on. So actually, different instances of this plugin can talk to each other and communicate to each other, which is a, a pretty new technology. So I have my kick track here. I can go in and select my bass. And you'll see now it's giving me two EQs. So on the top, I'm still looking at my kick. And on the bottom is uh, my bass track. And as I play back, you're actually going to see lights flashing on this spectrogram that are going to show where there's a pile up of frequencies where maybe I want to cut or boost in one instrument just to carve out some more sonic space. So let's see what that looks like. So as we'd expect, you can see there's a lot of energy down here at about 100 hertz or so, maybe right underneath. And I have this spectrogram, this histogram across the top, which is going to show me where a lot of that energy is. So since I can see that they're really competing, you know, maybe around 90, 80 hertz or so, um, I can make some pretty intelligent mix adjustments. So I can come in here with my EQ. Maybe I want to give a little boost to the kick there, and then a corresponding uh, cut on the bass guitar. Something that's pretty nice about this is actually we have an inverse link. So you know, I, wanted, I know I want to maybe boost and cut in the same frequencies. I can actually do that all in one click. So you'll see why as I'm EQing the top track here on the kick, it's actually making a corresponding booster cut uh, on the bass track below. Um, so this way I can EQ two different instruments at the same exact time and I don't have to go between different plugin windows, which can really speed up your process or, or be really helpful so you can sort of hear how that space gets carved out. So this is with the EQ on. And with it off, you can hear there's a little bit more muddiness and buildup in sort of the low end. And when this EQ is going, it's really going to smooth things out a little bit and start to carve out that space. So those are just a few of the features of Neutron um, that are, can really help you learn about mixing or help you get to that uh, desired result you want a lot faster. Um, please check it out. It's available right now on Reverb Sync. Whoa, whoa, can't